today we're going over a uh, percentage change. So I've been messing around with my uh, markers. I kind of like this fatter one better, so now I'm sticking with it for the moment. Uh, okay, so we got uh, this one. We're gonna say something that goes up 10%, down 20%, right? So say you got some money in the stock market or something like that, right? Your your stocks go up 10% one month, and then they go down 20% the next month. Now, before we even get started, that you will see an answer choice that says it went down 10%. Know that that is definitely going to be the wrong answer. So let's at least, if nothing else, be able to eliminate that down 10% answer. That will never be right. So what we want to do is pick a number and then multiply it by these, right? So we pick an easy number like 100, okay? So if I start off with 100 and it goes up 10%, Right, 100 times 0 0.1 is 10, right? So there we go, that equals 10. And then our new number, right? Because we had 100, we just made $10. Now we have 110, right? And this is gonna be why the answer is not gonna be uh, down 10. Because now at the start of the next month, we already have 110, right? And then it's going to drop from 110, it's going to drop by 20%. Okay. So 110 times 0.2 is, now it's going to go down 22, right? So 110 minus 22 equals 88. Yeah, so it actually, right, has dropped uh, by 12, yes, because it was 100, right, that was, so then we were going back to percentage change, I don't know if you guys have seen that video, right, minus 88, right, all over what we started with, our old number, old minus new divided by old, that's the formula for percentage change, equals 12 divided by 100 equals 12% decrease, right? So that's how we did. So again, as we review these, when, same thing, if you see something goes up 5%, down 7%, one of the answer choices is going to be that it dropped 2%. That is not going to be right, okay, because it's always going to be that we have to actually multiply these out. I recommend starting with 100, but you can start with whatever number you want to. Um, but pick some number to start with, then multiply the thing out, then you'll get your answer. So in this case, it drops 12%.